My name is Wayne McIntyre. I am a software developer on the Active Directory team. In this video, we are going to demo the Delegated Managed Service Accounts feature, which is the next evolution of GMSA accounts. If you haven't seen our technical takeoff session for what's new in AD, I recommend watching that for additional context. So first, uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a new DMSA account. And it uses the same commandlet that a GMSA does, but it has a new switch for create delegated service account. We'll set Kerberos encryption types to AES-256. We'll call it GMSA demo. Types of this host name. Okay, so now we've created a new DMSA account. We'll just hop over to LDP really quick, and we should have a new account under Manage Service Accounts. And there it is. And I'm just going to point out a few attributes. Uh, you'll see uh, the delegated MSA state is zero, which just basically means it's unlinked and not in any specific state at this moment. Um, but it also has all the same type of attributes that you would find on a, on a GMSA, which is the password ID and password interval. All right, so the main purpose of the DMSA account is to allow you to supersede an existing service account that's just a normal user. So in this case, I have this My Service account, and I'm going to go ahead and start a migration using this account. So the new command line is start AD service account migration. We're going to give it the identity of the DMSA we just created. And then we're going to specify the account that we're going to supersede. And it wants a distinguished name, so we'll just grab it from here. And that should start the migration process. And during this state, if we go back to the DMSA demo account, there'll be a few new attributes. So you'll see here the delegated MS state is now one, which means it's linked. And it's also going to point to the account that it's preceded by. So in this case, it's that my service account. Likewise, if we jump over to the service account, you will also see that it does similar things where the superseded manage account link is now the DMSA demo account. And its state is also set to one. Um, it's also important to note that all steps can be undone. So if you feel this was an error and you don't want to actually link these two accounts, you could just change this to undo and it'll undo the last step. There's also a reset, uh, which will reset back to the starting state as well. Uh, but in this case, we want to go ahead and actually perform the migration. So we'll go ahead and run it again. And while it's in this state, everything that logs on with the service account will still function normally. But it's also going to add the machines that the logons are occurring from to the principles allowed to retrieve manage password attributes. So I'm just going to do a log on real quick from my member server that has a service running as that service account. Let's just stop it. And then we'll start it. So it should do a new log on. And then we'll hop back to the DC. And let's see the current state of that DMSA demo account. We want to look at the principles allowed to retrieve manage password. And you'll see in this case, we now have TTDMSA, which is actually the machine account uh, or the member server name that just did the logon. Um, and it's a computer account. So at this point, the account is in that uh, migration stage and it's going to start adding uh, machines to this attribute so it can retrieve the managed password. 
Once we're comfortable that we've gotten all of the machines that are using this service account, we can now complete uh, the AD service account migration, and that's just going to be complete. AD service account migration, all the other parameters are the same. So that. And at this point, what should happen with the service account is a few things. One, the main thing is this service account is now disabled. The current state is in a state where it's considered delegated or superseded. And the other attributes or points back to the DMSA demo is still the same. Likewise, if we go over to the DMSA demo account, uh, one other thing that is important here is that any service principal names that were owned by the service account have now moved over here. So you'll see the service principal name for myservice.contosa.com. All right, so at this point, the migration is completed and that anyone that logs in with the My Service account will now have a more secure password using the DMSA demo account. And that concludes the DMSA demo. Thank you.